What is good, y'all? It is your boy, Mr. G, back with his boy, Roy DHB. Yes. You already know. You already know. And as you can see, I am decked out in Dominican paraphernalia because uh, <laughs> Dominican merch, because it is the Independence Day of my homeland, my my beautiful country, Dominican Dominican Independence Day. So, yes, sir. Okay. Happy Independence uh, Day. Thank you, sir. Thank happy you, sir. Do, you, do you prefer Happy DR Day or Happy Independence Day? Happy Independence Day. I kind I kind of miss too because obviously the other Independence Day would be July Fourth. But if you say Happy Independence Day on February twenty seventh, I know you're talking about DR. I got you. I got you. All right. Well, <laughs> you know, as you already know, Happy Independence mm-hmm. Day to you, to you, and to DR, bro. DR is awesome. Uh, I got a lot of Dominican friends, so shout out to all <laughs> you guys today. Uh, it's been a bit, I know, but we are back. It's just that we've been busy with work and schedules that yeah. are lining up, and it's it's been hectic. It has, but we're here. We're here. We back. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we're doing it earlier than usual today too. Because this, this is true. Yeah. I happen. Uh, I will be busy later. Oh, yeah. I'll be busy because I'll be going to a conference for facility managers with mm. the MBA. Fuck yeah! With the MBA, bro. So I'm excited. I have to go to. So C- you- you know that means you gotta get us tickets to a game. You know well, what I mean? well, once I get the job and you know do what I gotta do, then then we can yeah. talk. You got this, bro. You got this, bro. So uh, I'll be doing that later. A um, few things to talk about today, mm-hmm. as you guys could already see. Our main one is our background, Avatar: The Last Airbender, that came out with Netflix uh, last week. But for now, mm-hmm. before we get to it, oh, it happened again, didn't it? Yeah, it happened again. How do you gotta go? Uh, we got a little bit of uh, technical difficulties with. That's with, fine. You can still hear. You can at least still hear me. Yeah, I'll just. Can keep... hear you. We can still hear you. We can still hear you. He's gonna fuck around with it, but we can still hear you. He's gonna talk. Yeah. But um, but yeah, we watched the uh, we watched the um, Avatar: The Last Airbender, the new live action on Netflix. Very much look forward to it. Very oh, very long awaited. Uh, yeah, but very before but before we get to that, uh, let's go over. Because we we our are sports. sports of sports, uh, yeah. we this had the Super Bowl. We, we had the Super Bowl. We had the Super Bowl. I had, I had bets. I did not win any of my bets because the players I expected to score did not score except for one, which oh. is Christian McCaffrey. That's a Christian McCaffrey. Blue eyes by privilege. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's, a that's good one. another. That's another that's... YouTuber that I like. He he always calls him that, but it's funny as hell. That is funny. Um, but he was the only one that scored for me. So shout out to him. And he almost got me money, but uh, as you know, the Chiefs did good. They came back, man. They were losing, and they came back. Yes. But it was, a, I will say one thing, it was an entertaining Super Bowl. It was. Very very hard fought, very well played. One of the first you know? overtime ones in a while. Yeah, that as well. Yeah. And each team, each team, at first it seemed a little bit one-sided, but then it started getting to the point that it was back and forth, which made it more entertaining as opposed to just waiting for Super Bowl, like just and then just watching it be one side and then wait for the commercials and then you hope for the halftime show. That's it. That's true. But it was actually it was actually completely entertaining. Um, none of our teams were in it. No. Nope. Um, but doesn't that didn't stop it from being entertaining. It was good. It was a good game. It was. It was. Uh, yeah. The Chiefs won. You know, mm-hmm. you just can't can't count out that boy. Yeah, the Kansas City Taylor Swifts was there. You know. <laughs> well, so regardless, you can't count count him out because. That mm-hmm. that boy Patrick Mahomes, man, he's he did, he, did, he pulled the Tom Brady shit. Yeah, you know he that, came back and he he was making moves. He was, uh, and also that halftime show by Usher was OD. It was good. I liked, I liked it. it. I liked it. I liked it. And this is the first time I could say for a long time that a halftime show I actually liked it. Cause I was not expecting Alicia Keys, uh, Little John, mm-hmm. and Ludacris. motherfucking Ludacris, bro, Luda, yep. Luda. <laughs> That shit was OD, bro. Uh, it was good. It was yeah, pretty good. Uh, it was good. Very, very, very good. Very, very entertaining. Very nostalgic because he brought back a lot of classics. He did, as he should. Mm-hmm. And now he's gonna yeah. do a tour, as yep. and I'll make some money. I, I, I see you, Usher, making the yeah. money, money plays. So yep. then after that, we had the NBA All Star. Mm-hmm. Uh, the three point shooting was awesome. Uh, the Sabrina. Watch it. Uh, it was good. Definitely go back and check it out because they're, they're um. Four guys tied after the oh, first shit. round, so there was four people in the final round. I was, was just a little bit mad. Crazy. One of my homies was watching it, and he was like, "That Jalen Brunson didn't make it 
didn't do that well in the three point contest. Yeah, he did not. Yeah. It'd be like that though. He could always come back. Hey man, listen, he makes the points when it matters in game. Well, you know what I'm the thing is, he just started getting better at three point shooting this yeah. this past year. So mm-hmm. you know, and you're right, it yeah. matters when it's in game. Whatever, like yeah. if you really wanted the three point, he he, you know, it's fine. He, he'll, he'll hit it. Yeah. Uh, the dunk contest was okay. Uh, the I kid. Heard, I heard, I heard that. The one thing I was looking forward to, and I heard it was, it was, it wasn't that good. I mean, but the thing though, the dunk contest has been going down for years, though, in my opinion. Ever yeah, since there's only so many original dunks you could do. Ever, ever, ever since the Zach Levine, Aaron Gordon dunk contest, that showdown was probably one of the best ones in recent years. Probably, mm-hmm. and they say that even older people have said that's probably one of the best ones in, of all time. But yeah. uh, you know. Uh, J- Jalen Brown jumped over Kai Sanat and he got made it to the finals and Kai Sanat's a, a, a short guy like yeah. I'm, I'm short but he's smaller than me which is crazy yeah. you know but he made the th- the final meanwhile uh, your boy Jacob Toppin from the New York Knicks mm-hmm. he had a well used to be no it's his younger Warner. brother bro oh his younger brother I'm thinking of oh, I'm thinking of Obi Toppin my bad Obi, yeah Obi Toppin's on the Pacers his yeah, his yeah, younger yeah. his younger brother was the one in the contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I feel like he should have been in the final against Pat, uh, Matt McClung, but clearly the judges... I know people people were com- complaining about the judges, too. They, they they felt like the judges were whack with their scores. And it kind of, like, brought everything down. About the quality of it, yeah? Yeah, n- not the quality. Because the judges were whack, it, it, like, set the tone, like, early on that, like, you know, people were, like, boo, like, already, like, it wasn't hyped up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, if you look at Matt McClung's first dunk, bro, he someone was holding the ball, right? He this mm-hmm. Matt McClung is only like six foot, six foot's tall for me, but not that tall for NBA player. You right. s- you see this white boy jump in the air, bro? He grabs the ball, tosses it up, right? Let's go! Like he tosses it up, then catches it again. And yanks it, bro. Like when you see, like when you see it in, like you know, in real, it was, yeah. it was crazy. And then they gave him like a whack ass score because everyone's like, oh, even though he messed up the first time, you know, the the dunk was the fact OD. That he landed it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, but mm-hmm. it was a little lackluster. And mm-hmm. then, uh, so I see like the beginning half of the of the All Star NBA All Star weekend was really good. And then the second half, like the last half, the slam dunk contest and the game itself, that's supposed to be like the, the best parts of the weekend, were whack. We're, yeah, we're you lackluster. Know, very lackluster. But mm. it is what it is. Uh, they they got to figure something out. And yeah. now the season's back up. Uh, mm-hmm. Honestly, I have not been paying attention. So Yeah, uh, um, the, Knicks, the Knicks have been constant. They, I know they, they, won, they won yesterday. They won a losing streak. They were on a. They won a nail biter. They did. They won a nail biter yesterday. Thanks to Josh Hart. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. thanks to Divincenzo for tackling this dude and uh. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Damn. Again. Yeah. No. But hey, we got it back. The, the point is, we got the, we got the dub. Yeah. I want to say yeah. it was a tackle. It was more like I tripped. Oh my god, my bad. I know, but it's still <laughs> a loose ball foul, and that's what yeah, they're complaining yeah. about today. <laughs> the uh, the internet. If I had to bump the dub, I'll be fucked. Yeah. Uh, give me like the one. Late great Eddie Guerrero, like the late great Eddie Guerrero would say, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> oh, man. That's true, though. Yeah. That is true. Hold up. Let me clear my cache. Because I feel like that could help. Yeah. Another thing. Uh, spring training is underway for baseball. I'm fucking excited. Yeah, yeah. You are a yeah. baseball guy. I am not. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited. And the Yankees, the Yankees have been kicking ass. I know it's just spring training, but they're... Their chemistry is gelling, and they got a lot of good players. A lot of players and a lot of their prospects that they invited to spring training are showing out, which is really, really good. Good. Yeah. Good, good. Soto, Soto's doing what Soto does, and he's just fucking hitting and getting on base. And Judge is doing the same thing as he always does, hitting, getting on base, getting runs. Loving it. Okay. Good chemistry. Okay. Now, again, it's spring training, but... The way they, the way this is a good way to get your team chemistry up there. That way, once the, once the season starts, it's off to the races, you know. Yeah. So yeah. you you you'll be leading me in the baseball talk because I don't watch. Them. Maybe 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 you can help me get back into it. I got but, you. Um. 
so like so how have the the Yankees been the last few seasons like last year uh, last year was a bad season for the Yankees. They were plagued by a lot of injuries um, and a lot of uh, injuries to a lot of essential people. They had um, Anthony Rizzo, which is their first baseman. He well, he got he got diagnosed with a concussion. But that, then, guy, that guy sounds familiar. Wasn't he on a team that won? He, the, he right? was on the, he was on the team with the Cubs that won the World Series. Okay, yeah, that's why. He and so for the last the last two or three seasons, he's been with the Yankees because they traded for him. Or, or, and. Uh, he's a good, he's a good solid first baseman and a good lefty bat to have in that lineup. And um, and then he was doing good, um, until up until I think it was maybe mid June. Don't quote me on it. Mid June, maybe mid before before the All Star break or after the All Star break. But he in a game against San Diego, he ran um he ran into ran into um Tatis's knee. Ooh. And it rung his bell a little bit because he was he was fielding at first, and then Tatis they they threw the ball back to check him, to check the runner, and then uh, Tatis running back, he uh, which McCauley he hit his head on um he hit his knee on Anthony Rizzo. Now it looked, it it, it definitely rung his bell, but what ended up happening was is that he f- was feeling fine, but then like two and he was still playing, but he wasn't hitting the ball like his. His stats were dropping like a motherfucker. And what ended up happening was is that they found out later that he had a concussion and they didn't even know because he didn't even he felt normal. And then once they once they finally decided to like check him out, he had the symptoms of a concussion. They should so, they should just from the that impact alone, they should have mm-hmm. checked him out already. Immediately, yeah, yo. It might not be nothing, but let's check you out just in case. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly, he played, bro. He played a few games after that. He played a couple. I think he played like three more weeks. That's so dang, that's, that's dangerous, bro. Yeah, and 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 they were like, "Well, if he if he feels fine, fuck it, put him out there." But the problem is, is that look at that it was a concussion. It could have been worse. What if something happened to him in those three games, those three weeks of games that he was playing? In? You know, but yeah. he went down. Then you got Nestor Cortez, one of their one of their. He was an all-star the year before last, and he hurt his arm. Okay. So he was out for the season. Then you lost Judge. Judge who, who Judge who was on pace for either repeating or breaking his own record that he set. He got hurt twice, and the second time was because of his toe. Now, he came back later towards the end of the season, but at that point, it was too late to make a big difference. They were trying, but they ended up with an 82-82 and 82 record, which is rare for the Yankees, and they didn't yeah. even make the playoffs. Yeah. So it was bad. So the Yankees did some offseason moves. Now, granted, they traded they traded for Juan Soto, great fucking player. I wanted I wanted them to get him, and they got him. They had to give up a lot. They gave up a lot of players to get Juan Soto and another player transition from San Diego. But by the looks of it, they're the, the two players that they came that came in. They're molding well. The players that they they have coming up in spring training, they're playing well. The chemistry for the team is looking great for the entire team. And the energy and stuff like that, it's it's trending in the positive. So I'm not mad at anything right now. Okay. You know? Yeah. And so far, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Yankees are three and zero already in spring training, and and we're talking about they're putting up double digit numbers every game. That's that sounds uh, that sounds really good. Uh, you know, very yeah. promising, very promising. Yep. So hopefully, hopefully they get back to the playoffs this year. This season with much promise. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, we'll definitely look. Forward to your updates. Yes, sir. Because uh, right now, the NBA is going to be ramping up for the second half of the year. It's like mm-hmm. the more important half, obviously. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's like the last. I think hockey, the playoffs are about to start. For yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that too. So, like, it's like yeah, the last. So Rangers, Rangers, Rangers are already, Rangers are already, I'm pretty sure, clinched because they've, they've been in first place since the entire season. They've been they've been killing it. I see every yeah. time every time you win, you you, you post it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. my team. Yeah, your team. I I respect it. You know what I realize? Yeah. They're also the colors of DR. Yeah, and the Giants too. <laughs> oh my God. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. Are they just DR teams? That all makes sense. You imagine? <laughs> it all it all makes sense. Imagine. They got Dominican hockey players. You imagine? Oh man, one day, one day. I, I believe it. Yeah, it will be a Guzman, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so. There was sports. What else? Let me see if we could talk about something else. I don't remember. No, nah, uh, I watched Ahsoka briefly. 
so we can talk about that real brief. Real brief. No, nah, we'll save that for a, 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 no, a, a Star Wars day. I want to talk about it. It was good. It was good. No, nah, no. Nah, nah. Today's Avatar Day. That Ahsoka will be for Star Wars Day. You. But uh, don't 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 be like that. <laughs> let's let's get to the to to the, to the meat and potatoes, the nitty gritty, huh? Let's get into that. Let's get to <laughs> let's get to that Avatar: The Last Airbender talk. I'm gonna let you start it off. Go ahead. No, nah, I actually I was gonna let you go off because you no, know. No, no. Well, all right, non spoilers, non spoiler, real quick. No, non spoiler. You hated it. I didn't hate it. Hate is a strong word. Hate is a strong word. Okay. But I, just, but I did, but I disliked it very much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, quick score. Four. Four. Mm. Four. My goodness. Uh, and that's me. Be- and, that's, and that's being generous. That's fine. Out of ten, right? Mm-hmm. Out of ten. Okay. Uh, I actually liked it uh, a lot more than I thought I would, and uh, I'd give it a, a seven. A seven. Seven point five. Okay. You know. Okay. Um. It, why? Huh? Okay. 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 I said why? No. Okay. <laughs> no. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about. It. We're gonna talk about. Yeah. It. Um, so. Yeah. So you know, like, uh, it's a retelling of the story of Aang, the last, the last Airbender. It was also mm-hmm. the Avatar, uh, from Nickelodeon. We, I know, I know. For, I guess I feel like I can speak for both of us. We grew up on that on Avatar: yeah. Last Airbender. This mm-hmm. shit went out again, bro. That's no, you're crazy. still there. Nah, it just went out of mind. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We still hear you. Though. Keep fucking with it. We still yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. You know what? No, we're not going to worry about it. I'm not going to waste any more time. Uh, so, I I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I didn't love it. You know what I mean? There was obviously a lot of things that I was like, hmm. Uh, but I could appreciate it for what it is. And mm-hmm. I could also appreciate it for the fact that it's already bringing in more people to watch the animated series after watching this. And mm-hmm. that's and that's the same thing that I wanted that happened with One Piece. That's, you know, the same mm-hmm. thing that I wanted for Avatar The Last Airbender. Because that story mm-hmm. is fantastic. And it should be, like, people should watch it. You know, should hear about it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, my I, my my dad put it on the other day. And he was like, "Oh shit, they boxing like the like." He's like, "Oh, this accent's pretty good, you know." So like, yeah. he got he got he got into it. Uh, my mom had already watched had a, watched the original with me mm-hmm. when 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 uh, I was younger. So she was already already into it. But right, you know, it's uh like 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 I kept telling us like telling myself and others uh, when One Piece came out. There's gonna be moments that are for us, that mm-hmm. like are, that'll help us pop off. Like, oh yeah, like that shit, like that shit was, that shit was it. But this is not entirely for us. This is for the casual, you know, Netflix user who is everywhere because Netflix has like the, is the biggest streaming service. Yeah. Uh, it's for the moms, the grand, the dads, the grandpas, grandpas, moms. And the little yeah. kids that are watching, they're like, oh, eight episodes? Let me check it out. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And uh, it is also more dramatized. Like, uh, like a little dark. Is it a little darker? I mean, Avatar's actually dark, but, like, it. I feel they like made it, it... They made it more serious than, it sh- than I'm used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, I did... I will say this. I enjoyed it a whole lot more than, I, than the fucking movie that came out years ago. Oh, no, the movie was fucking trash. Okay, so we could agree on absolute that. Ham- absolute hammer shit. Oh, you, absolutely. You could say that th- they at least tried to, you know what I mean? At least they, that, that's why I gave it a four. You know, look, I'll give you. Uh, there's, there's here. I'm gonna give you my reasoning for why I gave it a four. Okay, okay. Because if not, if I did, because the movie, I'll give it a zero out of ten. That shit's yes. fucking horrendous. So I'll give it negative but, twenty, bro. That shit. Yeah. And that was the day I broke my my ex and I broke up. So <laughs> that day, that day was even worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, man, I get it. So. For one thing, Daniel Day Kim. I'm biased against him already because I loved him in Hawaii Five O, and I think that he gave he did for what for what the part called for. He delivered it perfectly. Yeah, but uh, we're going into spoilers or not yet? I, I'll just give you to that. 
I'll just I'll just give you the, the and then once we discuss it more, then we'll go into spoilers because it's already been up for a week. It's been anticipated. And it's been what they've been advertising it for almost about a year. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that yeah. people people that have been waiting for it have already seen it. Okay. So, right. um, fuck it. So spoilers. Let's just get into it. Go ahead. Spoilers. All right. So Daniel De Kim, Ozai. Bro, he I I tell I, you brought it. I, he brought it. He Yo, it. and I'm telling you, exactly, exactly for what was written for the part, he brought it. But what I liked about it, too, was, like, at moments you would see some sort of compassion, Whoa. which kind of which kind of was a double-edged sword for me. He was being a little bit compassionate, but then you found out later that it wasn't compassion. Yeah, yeah. It was just, yeah. like, he, he flipped the script that fucking quick. He's fucking playing so them like mind games, bro. Yeah, but that's where the double-edged sword comes in for me. Because I like him so much, the double-edged sword comes in for me because in the original anime, one thing that pissed me off is that you don't see that much dialogue from fucking Ozai, Ozai. In, yeah. in, 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 in season one. In book one, that's true. In book one, you don't see it. Yeah. Well, I, I will say... Barely. It, it, you saw, you saw, you saw more of the characters. Yeah. yeah, you saw more of the characters in this retelling. Now, I understand it's a retelling, but you see more of the characters in the retelling... There was even characters that you don't see until season two in the retelling of this. I, I know you're talking about Azula. Yep. Azula, they revealed Azula way too early. I disagree with you. That, that, I disagree no, with you. I, I no, think they revealed... Wait, hold no, on, hold on. Hold all right, on, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They revealed Azula too early. Part of the reason why I like the, 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 the animation more was because I like that reveal, that old factor, that whole shit factor. I like the reveal. But the fact that they brought in Azula, bow. Oh, this is Azula. Whoa, hold up. What? I would have preferred it if they would have surprised you with Azula because in the in the in book one, you don't even know Zuko has a sister until they reveal her. You know, they mentioned they mentioned in the Agni Kai. They did in the Agni Kai. Yes, he oh, mentions yeah, that he has a sister. Yeah, they mentioned. Three, that was the only time though. That was it. That's the only time. You see, yeah. that's how minuscule it was that I didn't even remember they mentioned her until yeah. you reminded me. But the but the big reveal was is when Ozai is finally talking to her. Iroh is a traitor and Zuko is a failure. It's time for you to da -da -da. you know what I'm saying? That's like oh shit, this bitch is coming out. Yeah, uh, I, I I do I do agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. But I will say, I like this change though, because like you said, we didn't get anything about Azula. So this whole time in book one, we had no idea what she was fucking doing, bro. Right. We had no idea what she yeah. was doing. Meanwhile, in the in the in the back, well, we see in the live action, we see mm -hmm. Ozai been fucking getting her ready, manipulating, playing games with her, fucking like this whole time, and like it makes sense for Ozai. And uh, the reason why they have Ozai a lot more in this is because of Daniel Dekem. You know yeah. what I mean? They they like this is one of our our it, this is our, one of our it factors. We yeah. we need to show him off more. Uh, again, again, he. Yeah, 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 the part for what it was written for him to do, he played it to perfection. He did. He did. So he to did. me, his acting out of ten, I give it a ten out of ten because yeah. I'm already biased for him from Hawaii Five O because I love him from that show. And then on top of that, with that, he did it perfectly because he's such he's such a a, a wholesome character and a welcoming character in Hawaii Five O to see him do flip the script and to be such a menacing character. And an underlying, if, if that makes sense, underlying menacing. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that, yeah. that one scene where he's talking to Zuko after the Agni Kai, you think he's going to show compassion and out of nowhere, they're like, oh, nigga, you've been weak. Oh, I'm gonna, nah, that's it. I'm going to banish your ass to make him stronger. Yep. yep. That, that, that 180 was like, all right. Oh, you're right. He did get that perfect. There was that yeah, moment. Yeah. He was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show a little compassion. He's like, nah. Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. You're banished. Yeah. Take the 41st yeah. division with and your take, ass. And take the 41st division with... I will say one thing. That's That change of of him saving the 41st division, I did welcome that change, and I did like that change. I like, like that change a lot. That, the reason why he had a crew in the animation was because that's the 45th division that he didn't want to sacrifice. Yes. So that's yeah. cool. Yeah, because they never addressed the crew that he has. In they book didn't. One. They didn't. They didn't. No, that was nice. So back to Azula yeah. real quick. So mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't disagree with what you're saying though, right? Seeing Azula in season two was like, oh fuck, like blah blah blah, you yeah. know, like. But seeing but that how progression, much she was. Yeah, well, 
but even then, this like this bitch started off crazy, bro. She mm-hmm. like how she how she she betrayed she infiltrated that uh that rogue that rebel Fire Nation people, right? That were trying mm-hmm. to kill Ozai. She infiltrated them to for all them to get killed. That was crazy. That review was cool. That review was cool. Right? That, was cool. That, that was cold. That was cold. Yeah, that was cool. You see, you so see that, that review. That review, like you see that O factor. That's yeah. why I was looking for that O factor. Yeah. For that, so, for that was cool because you, you think it's some random chick, and out of nowhere, you realize, oh, it's Azula. All yeah, right, I welcome yeah, yeah. that. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, like I, I thought that was a nice change. Um, mm-hmm. you, you see, her thinking and how she got so fucking messed up because of her mm-hmm. brother, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like she's just like. If I'm not mistaken, the end result of her going so fucking insane in the in the anime was because she was jealous of Zuko, correct? Exactly, and that's where it all came right. from. That's where that's what right. thrives her. And and Ozai knows that, and he's been pushing it, pushing it. Meanwhile, he knows Zuko want, is the, is a good boy because he's more like his mother. Yeah. And and he's going to try to keep trying to get his his father's um approval, praise, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Like and, and and Zuko holds that tight. Mm-hmm. The actor for Zuko, I thought was great. There was there was moments where I didn't I, he, I was like I, at first I wasn't sure but at the end yeah. I feel like I feel like he got it at the end. Yeah, I feel like he got I felt I felt like he was more like Zuko that we're used to when he's finally fighting uh, Zhao at yeah. the north the northern water tribe. Yep, yep. That's the yep. Zuko that I'm used to. Yeah. I did not like the fact that it may be minuscule, but I didn't like the fact that he conversed so much with Aang. There was a there was a bit too much, but you know what? I kind of like that though. I kind of liked it though, only because, bro, you got to think about it like this. Book one was twenty something episodes, bro. I got that. They only got eight. They only got I eight know. to condense though, because like they can't. Because let's let's be honest, we didn't get into Avatar right away. We got most people got into it. Well, I'm not. I will take it back. Not we, because I don't know. I don't know when. Because I watched it when it first came out. Like when, like, when like, out, when, yeah. like week to week, um, yeah. and uh, but I know most most people got into it after book one because they thought that the beginning was boring. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, that, yeah. if you go back and watch, it was kind of like, ah, oh, is this kid just fooling around? Blah blah. You know, things didn't get serious until the mm-hmm. later part of book one, until yeah. that ending, and then you're like, oh my god, the the yeah. moon was killed. This this and this. Blah blah blah. Yeah. The fucking end went fucking. You know, like. Then, then people got hooked onto book two because mm-hmm. book two started off, boom, fucking they yeah, go back right to right. Omashu taking over, and that was another thing I liked. Was it Omashu? Omashu yes. Say. I thought he went to, it was no, say. no, they go oh, back to Omashu, Omashu, Omashu because to see Bumi. Yes, to, to be his yeah, master, to, and that's yeah. what I liked about the change in this, bro. Mm-hmm. Because we didn't see Omashu get taken over. We're like, how did that happen? Yeah. You know how it happened? But, because Azula was sent. Because she fucking took that shit over. The fact that she, that another thing that I really liked and showed the hatred that Azula has for Zuko was the fact that she was behind all of it. She was the mm-hmm. one getting Zhao the troops, the the title, the everything he needed. She was yeah. the one behind it, and that was, was that was a nice that was nice, bro. That was a nice yeah, that, that 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 added more depth to Zhao, Zhao yeah. and Azula. Because it, it just Zhao it, yeah. it, it built on her fucking on on her craziness on her that that jealousy like you said that she has of Zuko yeah. bro because she wants to be the Fire Lord she wants yeah. to be the next one and one thing I did like hold on uh, yeah. was we got to see her changing her fire right she started off regular she started off with the no. regular flame no, I remember I think I only saw her once use the blue flame exactly she's not there yet but I like which. We see her in the blue flame in season two, so I think that's what they're saving it up for. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I remember see. I, I remember it showed it showed because in the in in the live action they showed it briefly. In the briefly, like like like, like she like she was like she was like trying to. Yeah, it, it was like there was like moments of flashes, and you see that she's getting to it, and then yeah. at, you know then you did see her get with the the lightning, which I feel the like lightning, that was cool. It was cool, but I feel like that was too early, personally. Too early. You know what I mean? But but it was cool. It was cool, it was cool. because Ozai was like, "Oh, this bitch ready." <laughs> like that was, yeah. that 
that was a sta- that was a statement that he needed to be like, oh shit. Yo, for some reason, I thought they were gonna make the change that she just fucking shot him. Spirit, like sp- special beam cannon him, bro. She was gonna him. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like, so you know, I thought I I really liked Azula. A lot of people are hating on the actress that played her and the uh, her my and Ty and Ty Lee because they said that they don't look like them. But I was like, I thought they I thought they embodied them perfectly. I I think so as well. Yeah, you, you know, like I think so as well. Listen, I will say this for the cat, the casting was done well. The casting was done well. Nine out of ten. I give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. The only one, the only one that drops in two points, honestly, was uh, was Sokka. Okay. Because honestly, if you think about it, and I could be wrong, but you remember in book three when they're watching the show. The Zook, the the Sokka that you see in the live action reminds me of the one that the hired actor that they did for the play in in book three. I think you're right. And picture it, back, picture it back because he reminds me, the nose and everything. But again, he acted it well. He did. He, he had his moments. Well. He had his moments. He had his moments. He acted it well. But, um, but I think for the most part, the casting was done well. Yeah. For the parts, for the parts that they were given, and for the the what was what was written for them for what they needed, it was done well. My gripe with it was the execution of the story and the introduction of certain characters. What what fucked me over? So okay. Well, what's what, 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 what's another uh, character? Dude, one that pissed me off, hard body. That was the first time I told you, yeah, I can't watch this anymore. The jet one was, huh? The uh, jet. No. no. Okay. Okay. I actually didn't mind Jet. Jet was good. Again, another casting choice. Yeah. My problem was the first thing was, and it's one of my favorite episodes out of the entire series, out of uh, out of the animation. It's how easy Aang figured out who Boomy was. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Because that's fair. In, that's fair. In book in in, in the season in yeah. book one when he's fighting Boomy. Boomy puts him through all these challenges, and what made the thing more wholesome and more beautiful about it to me was the fact that the final challenge was, what's my name? Yeah. And then he had to think about it, be like, holy shit, that's my homie Boomy. And then the way he gives that's him fair. a big hug. That's fair. And how you see him as soon as he sees him, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to give you a challenge. Boomy? No, nigga. Uh-uh. You see? That shit the bed for me. Okay. Uh, Secondly, I, I, I don't, I I don't like, disagree. I, and that, and another thing to piggyback off of Boomy, I didn't like the fact that Boomy was so resentful. That's fair. I will say I understand, I understand why he was resentful, but I didn't like the fact that he was so resentful. So very, resentful and not so tank. very resentful. I, mean, I didn't. I didn't like that. To be fair, another, I, I will say I, on 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 that on that on that case, I will say it's because they needed to have a bad guy in that early portion of the episodes, like from episode. That was what three and four. Yeah, I get that, but the problem is that, that was like episode three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, three and four because it goes into four uh, with, yeah. with 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 Jed and all that because they they just they combine so many. Uh, they combine so the, many episodes, and they yeah. they they and you notice that for certain episodes, they used it as stories that happen in the background, like the episode where he fought, where he goes to the island of Kiyoshi and rides the, the Unagi. They mentioned that in passing, talking about oh, you took on sea monsters, that's the otro, but you don't see it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, that's a lot of that's a lot of money, bro. That's, I, Especially, I get, I get, no, no, no yeah. I get that. Yeah. And for time constraints, I understand that. Yeah, I'm glad they acknowledged it. I don't mind the fact that they acknowledged it. Would it have been nice to see it? Yeah, of course. But I'm glad they acknowledged it. Like it wasn't like it was just like from one episode to the next and shit like that. It was from each episode. You see the the the, the extra filler filler episodes from from the animation. They at least acknowledge it. Yeah, which I you got to admit, they tried, bro. They tried, they tried. They tried getting they tried. everything in that first book. One, they like hit upon every episode that that people could think about, like mm-hmm. uh, the spirit, the 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 spirit of the forest, the um, uh, the Kyoshi, like you said, the Kyoshi warriors. Mm-hmm. Suki was beautiful. Suki was so oh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yo, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Suki, the the, the person, the, the 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 actress that played Suki, also played Yue. No. Or am I wrong? No, you're wrong. No? Yeah. Because they sounded similar, but I because I, I know Yue was the fox that visited Sokka in his dream. Yeah, correct. That I didn't like since we're there. I didn't like the fact that Sokka and Kitaro ended up both in the spirit world with Aang. Yeah, wasn't wasn't it just Sokka? Wasn't he that lost? Was wasn't Sokka he, he lost? 
Sokka was taken by Heibai. Remember, he was yeah. taken by Heibai in his beast form? Yeah. He was taken by Heibai, and that's what causes Aang to go into the spirit world. I did not like the introduction of Cole so early. I I will agree with you on that. I I did not like that. Cole, 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 we saw, Cole we saw in what, season two? No, Cole you see, Cole you see in the first episode of the, of the two-parter for the Northern Water Tribe. Okay. Because he's the one that tells him about Tui and La, the moon spirit and the ocean yes. spirit. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I didn't like the fact that Sokka, that, that Sokka, Katara, were, it, all right, they're ready in the spirit world. I didn't like the fact that Cole took them hostage and was going to feed on them. No. It, it, it was a little scary, though, especially when the, you saw the face scary. real quick. I was like, oh, fuck, no, nah, fuck. Scary. One of the best parts of that episode, which is another one of my favorite episodes, is that I like the fact that in the animation that you see that Aang at certain points gets excited, but he has to hide his face quick because Cole will steal his face. Yeah, yeah. I like that. You don't find out that he's a face stealer until he talks to Roku. Yeah, uh, that, that is true. That is true. Yeah, which piggybacks into another issue that I had. I did not like the fact that the first Avatar that he has an interaction with and actually manifests his power was Kiyoshi. I did not like that. Was it? Was that not the case? No, it was Roku, was right? It was Roku. Right. For the most part, for the most part, and this was something that I touched on, I discussed it very much with my wife. The only avatar that Aang has the most communication with is Roku. Yeah. You don't Cause, see Aang Because he was the previous with, one. Yeah. You don't see Aang communicate with any of the other avatars until season three when he goes and he's on the lion turtle trying to figure out a way to defeat Lord, uh, Lord Ozai without, without killing, killing him. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was too much. Okay. I mean... Karuk, you don't even hear about the nigga. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you only see him in passing and a couple of scenes of, of when he's learning about when he's learning about how to control the Avatar state. Yeah. Which, again, Roku is helping him. I did not like the fact that when he finally spoke to Roku, he went to Crescent Island uh, to the... To the Ember Isle. Uh, uh, em was it Ember Isle? I think yeah. it was something else. It was, it was, Ember Isles. Yeah, yeah. Ember Isles. He went there by himself. Yeah. Well, he did. He did. He did, no. he did go by himself. Oh. No, no, sir. He went with all three of them. Remember that they had to fucking fight their way in there, and that's when he meets Shayu, the 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 fire sage that was still that still believed in the in the avatar. Yeah, you gotta rewatch there, it now. I do. It's been a while because I'm telling you, I have watched there, this shit front and back. And there, it's one of my favorite. There, series. there was a point though that he did go. Didn't he go by himself? He went back. He went back. If I'm not mistaken, he went back in season three when he was worried that everybody found that that thought the avatar was dead again. Yeah, I definitely Remember? gotta go back and watch. Yeah, he the first time he goes there and he finds out that he has to go there on the sum, on the on the summer or the winter solstice. Because I could I could I could have sworn that he went by himself because Sokka was was in, was imprisoned in the spirit world and Katara stayed behind with the village. No, because he uh, he yeah, he left. No, yeah, yeah. He left. No. no. Yes. Um, no. And and that's when he, he found out about the solstice. The solstice. He, the solstice. No, I'm trying to fucking remember the solstice because I remember he goes there. He's there with Katara and Zuko. Oh, he's he's there with Katara and Sokka. Zuko's there. Shayu is helping him fight, and they're blocking the door because he's inside with Roku. Which is when you finally see him take the first manifestation that Roku destroys the island, the Temple of Roku. Okay. And all three of them are there that they have to escape on Appa. But I know there was a point because. He does that, return that, he because does, he no because that episode when 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 Sokka gets taken is a two parter because Aang has to go somewhere to get to to get to get him back. I I just don't remember what he did. I remember the and the, the the episode. I remember that the episode that Sokka and Katara are left behind is the episode that they get you cold and Zuko catches him catches Aang. Because, and that was the, that was the blue the blue spirit right the blue master blue spirit episode that's yeah. the one i remember of them being left behind and by himself that makes sense. i'm trying to remember exactly when it is that he goes back to it's to time to rewatch baby we're going to do a, a review on the original series but uh, everybody started watching it because i was so mad at this one i was like i have to rewatch this because i love it so much and <laughs> i got i got to be reminded of the good shit so understandable but but yeah I will say I didn't like that we got the um the owl because we don't get the owl till season till season two 
the, he the, sees uh, him in the library. Yes, not in the, the library. World, yeah. In the library. Yeah. I was, and he I, I was wasn't a fan of that. Yep. Because that's when that's when Sokka figures out the day of Black Sun. Yep. To take away the firebender. Yes. So the that's eclipse. why yeah, he yeah, tries yeah. to kill him. Because yeah. like, yo, because you're trying to use my knowledge for war. Yeah. I'm about to fuck y'all up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. when and that's when again, Alpha gets kidnapped, which goes into another. Yes. Because we get we had Toph. I remember because Toph had her her hands in the thing to keep it up. And then yeah, these guys, because in the sand, she couldn't really tell where she was uh-huh. fending at. Yeah, yeah. And that's another thing with Toph. That's another thing when you see when Appa gets taken. That's when you see the angry side of Aang. Yes, 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 yes. His hostile side. Now, I don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm fucking shit. Oh, I'm getting my, I'm getting my bison back. I mean, but you did see that. Uh, well, you saw, at, you at, saw at, it in the water trap just... in, in the fight of the north is because of uh, yeah, but what, but was the, it really the, the Ocean Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was the ocean spirit. It wasn't really Aang. The only time I would say is when he was at the air temple. Yeah. They, at least they did that correctly. Yeah. Bro. Uh, I I felt... Bro, the fact that we got to see the raid of the air temple was crazy, though. You got to admit, that, that, that was bro. That was, yo, that was, that was one thing that I was like, okay, I can see that. I'm glad they, they actually brought that up because you don't see that until, like, later seasons. When they bring shit up, yeah, I don't and even think they. I don't even think they show the rate of the the, not, the the Southern Air Temple in the show. No, not like that. No, no, no. Yeah, I I, I like that they did that. Um, I mean, it just seems like a lot of your issues, story wise, well pointed out and well deserved. Are intro- It's 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 mostly the introductions of the characters and how they handled it. That's why I didn't like. That's fine. That's, that's fine. What, that's, what, uh, that's what that's what dragged it down for me. But, but it, again, the for, for what it was, the performance was good. For what they were written, yeah. for what they were given, they yeah. did it well. Yeah, I mean, but we we also have to remember, like I said before, twenty something episodes condensed into eight, bro. Yeah, That's, but that and and I, I, and, I just, and, and, and they're and they're that. heavy lore explicit episodes too. I, I I I yeah I but that's exactly my point, dude. You got three seasons to work with. So if you're gonna condense it, condense you don't, it with stuff from the, you from, the, from the same season. You get what I'm saying? Oh, uh, like the like the knowledge keeper that could that could have been revealed in the second episode because that's a big ordeal because they figure out that's when they could take away the bending from the firebenders. That's fine. Really that's, yeah, yeah, that's you know fine. You know what I'm saying? It's for, it's for certain things. You didn't need to introduce the knowledge keeper in the spirit one in the spirit world and two in season one. Yeah. I, I, well, I, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not going to disagree with that. I'm not going to disagree with that yeah, one. You didn't. You didn't need to bring Saka. Saka. Saka was taken, but he wasn't in the spirit world having visions. He didn't. He didn't even know what, what happened to him until he gets taken back out. Yeah. yeah. The whole village. Saved. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You know what I'm saying? But they made it seem like, and that's another thing. Okay, and you know me, I'm big on details. That's another thing I didn't like. I didn't like the fact that Cole was the one. Taking people by uh, taking people as opposed to hey by taking people, which was hey by taking people because he was angry and he was hurt. And that's when Aang heals him and touches his head and turns him into his regular panda form that he brings him back, that he brings all the people back, that all the people start emerging from the dark forest. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Instead, instead he went to uh instead, to, to everything on Cole. And and Roku uh had a totem f- for Cole. Yeah, I, yeah, not, that, not that a big fan. Looking for a family. Yeah, I was not a big that, fan of that. It's, 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 it's cool that they tried to include that. I get that. I understand, but it could have been done better. Uh, yeah. Cole didn't need no totem. Cole was just stealing faces because he's shit. He likes to steal faces. Because that's 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 the person he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you that's know, the creature he is because they got centipede. And we know. <laughs> Well, let's not talk about centipedes. <laughs> Don't watch that movie. <laughs> Don't watch. I thought it was. Never watched it. I was like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> but uh, I'm good. I mean, I don't disagree with that with what you're saying in yeah. that in that part. But, but that's all. That, that's that's really the only the bad takeaways that I could take from it. It's just damn to bring so it down all, to bring it down to a four though. is a lot. That's pretty severe. Nah, man. It, it could. It, it, it's it's two part because it's the introduction of certain characters and how each interaction with each character. Got me upset. You get what I'm saying? Like the whole thing, like I said, with Boomy. Him revealing Boomy as soon as he sees him, th- no. 
You got at least give a you got an hour long episode. Give him the fucking challenge. At least give him the fucking challenges. And he only does one challenge, and he already knows who he is, and he's still hostile towards. No, well, because would... the same. Because the same thing, because the same thing could have been said of the Boomy and the other one that yo Boomy knew who he was and he could have been hostile towards him. He really wasn't. It was all lessons to help Aang. Agreed, agreed. Agreed. But I feel like this Boomy showing that resentment like really showed Aang like even more like how like how much he's missed. You know what I mean? And and yeah, like I, get, I, I mean I get because listen because that was think think about it that's the, that was the only connection left from mm-hmm. his past, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I and again, listen, I understand why they did it, and it makes sense how they did it, but I didn't like how they did it. That's you know what I'm saying? You didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, that's good. I enjoyed the change. I mean, because they needed they needed uh some type of like uncomfortableness to make ang mm-hmm. grow up grow a little bit cuz he was still yeah, very much he was still Aang. very much oh mm-hmm. i don't want to do this this is not my responsibility i'm still a kid like you know like but yeah. this is eight episodes bro mm-hmm. and 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 the thing is netflix needs it needs it to hit like or like these things like make like that um conflict Gets mm-hmm. people right, like gets people into it. So seeing that conflict between Ang's now oldest best friend and and him, like you know, it it gets the movie, it gets especially in this case, it gets the movie the the story going and mm-hmm. and forward, like because they did the, the the machinist, which was played by my boy Danny Putty, Abed. I love he you, bro. Well. He did, he did. He well. did. Uh, you know, and they, and, they, and they incorporated so many. They touched. It's big. Be- Another thing is, is because they wanted to touch on so many things. You know what I mean? And they, like you said, put Cole, uh, Cole in the spirit world along with the, the, the knowledge keeper. Like, uh, you, you have to do all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to do all that. But at the mm-hmm. same time, we don't know if there's going to be a season two. So they're like, we're trying to get. Well, because I heard it things. was very ill-received. That's what's up. Well. It was very ill-received. On the internet. Meanwhile, oh, it's it's getting good. It's it's being watched. I've only seen I've only seen people that have shown like, dislike in, about it. Yeah, in your circles. Meanwhile, in other circles, I see mad people talking about how it actually was pretty good. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it. it yeah. I mean, I could have the same fucking issues with the, with, with the One Piece live action, bro. Yeah. If you go back and re uh, rewatch the beginning with that with that one, I can't. I can't. I can't tell the differences. You can. Of course. But again, it did what it, it did what it accomplished because what did I do? As soon as I started watching that, what did I do? I went back to the anime and I started binging it like a motherfucker. Yeah. Agreed. So it did and, and, and and that and that's what and that's what this is going to do. I understand that. But my problem is now what happens if this is somebody's first taste of Avatar and they go into the animation and they be like, But that's not how it happened in the live action. You get what I'm saying? I mean, that's, that's, cool. oh, that's always how it that's always how it's gonna be, bro. That's how you are right now. If you want the live, if you want the live action, watch the live action. If you want the animated, go watch the animated. If you want to watch the shitty ass movie, go watch the shitty ass movie. Don't watch there's, the shitty ass movie. I wouldn't put that on nobody. <laughs> but there's different, there's different avenues for you to get into the, the source, which is Avatar, which is One Piece. You know what I mean? And that's and that's what it's accomplishing. And at least it was mm-hmm. done with with taste, with flair. Unlike that movie, bro. The action in yeah, this shit, with the special effects were sick, that, bro. Yeah, the action. It, Yo, I actually like the fact that that the Agni Kai between Zuko and Ozai was more back and forth as opposed to Ozai attacking him. Yes. And fucking up his eyes. Yes. You know what I mean? And I like the fact that that made it even more menacing too, or more intimidating that Ozai, the scar wasn't from far away, like in the like in the animation. He did that shit up close and personal and burned his eye as a lesson to him. Come on, bro. That shit that was a nice addition. I, I, I'm saying it was. Yeah. I liked it. I yeah. liked that they did that. That's it. Again, there were certain differences that I welcomed, but there were other differences that, because I was so close to it and because I like certain reveals, that fucked it up for me. You, well, you got I mean? you got to admit the shit that I said about about Azula makes it a bit better, right? The shit about Azula makes it a bit better. I still stand on my stance of introducing her too soon. Oh, but, the my, intro- but the way they introduced her was dope. Yeah, it's just it's just that my whole thing is like 
it makes sense though because he's had this like we find out in season two that he has a sister, right? Mm-hmm. The fact that that the whole like we we finding out now, one, but, they, but, but you fi- they finally reveal her. Yeah, but like the fact that we we get to see like her progression as well, paralleling Zuko's, you know, mm-hmm. it to me it was a nice welcome addition, bro. Because Azula was one of the better characters in the series. That yeah. that that bitch was crazy, well, she was, bro. She was one, she was one of the more, for lack of a better term, she was one of the more more complex characters that you yes. see. Yes, yes, yes. And she gets even uh, more complex in in the books and afterwards. Bad, and again, I thought she was well casted. Yeah, yeah. I think was. she, I think she did a good job. I don't know why they, why anybody hating on them. They, I think they did the parts well. The one thing I will say about May, May could have been a little bit more monotone. <laughs> you know what I mean? She had the moments like, of, of of it, yeah. But I mean, I feel like she needs more like screen time. The casting, the casting, yeah, the casting was well done. Yeah. All right, we. I I, that's one more thing. That's one more thing too. The. The reveal of May and Ty Lee, in it, 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 that that they, that's another one they did too soon. But it wasn't it wasn't that much that it hindered on it. You yeah, yeah. I, I mean, because they don't they don't they don't really do anything cool until later on, uh, yeah. on season two. But I, I could agree. I would have been okay with just seeing uh, Azula. Azula, but seeing mm-hmm. May and Ty Lee actually calm her down, I actually like that too, though, because now you set that up. Yeah, now nice. now in season two or three. You see when she flips on them and they can't calm her down, you think yeah. you know you now you be like, oh fuck like, mm-hmm. you know what yeah. I mean like so. You know who, at first I wasn't liking a lot, but at the end I hated him. Um, General Zhao. Oh yeah, bro! I thought he was pretty good. I didn't. I did. I didn't. For for what it was written, he did it well. Yeah. I just didn't like his attitude. You get what I'm he, saying? He had an attitude. He had an he attitude. Had an attitude. Yeah, he yeah. had an attitude. More, he, but he had an attitude that felt more petty yeah. than yeah. than ambitious. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Zhao. Because Commander well, Zhao, that's one thing that I brought up. Like that, they capture the Avatar. Oh, let's celebrate! No, I captured the Avatar. It's all about me. It ain't about none of you motherfuckers. Da, 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 da. That's yeah. the that's the Zhao I'm used to. Well, I mean, for, I mean that's kind of how this guy was too, though, because he was like, make sure, yeah, he, make sure. He was, he's, he's, sorry, sorry, go ahead, brother. No, I was just saying, he, like, he was saying to the guy, like, to to the documentary, like, make sure that you know you put down that I did, did yeah, you know, he, know what I mean? He was, he was more, it was more misplaced arrogance and pettiness than, than because he got Zhao, ambitious at the Zhao end, is, though. I will say, Zhao is, Zhao is, me- yeah. No, then he just looked like he was straight up insane. At at um, the end, at the end, I feel like he hit more of like Zhao that we yeah. know of than than in yeah. the beginning. Yeah, the, the 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 heartless Zhao. Yeah. That that at, towards the end, yeah. would I have liked to have seen more of the heartless Zhao in the beginning? I would. I feel you. In the beginning, but it just seemed like he was more petty and more conniving and more low key and shit like that, trying to do it. Th- nah, because the original Zhao was upfront, in your face, very intelligent. He didn't need anybody's help, you know. He did. He didn't have to need. He didn't have to use Azula. Now I do like that factor. Well, he didn't. He didn't use Azula. Azula mm-hmm. used him. So that true. That makes yeah, a true. difference. But but yeah. But either way, the use of use of or non use of I I I didn't think that was necessary. But it was it was again one of the welcome differences that I that I liked. It was cool. It was it was that adds more to her backstory. Yes. Yes. Which, yes. which more, I like. More to her, yeah, which adds more to her character, which adds more to her intelligence, her her her, her, her yep. evil her evil mind, her conniving. Yeah, her, yeah, yeah. More, yeah, which makes her even more fucking. Oh, yeah. I hate this bitch. That's why I hope we get a season two because I want to see her. I want to see her develop more. Like I feel like she's gonna bring it, bro. Like, yeah, you know, I can see it. I can see that. But, um, but again with Zhao. Zhao, I felt like I, 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 again, what he did, he, again, for all the people that were cast, for the parts that were written, they did it well. But there were certain characters I felt like would have been, I could have, like, again, that, that, with Zhao, I would have liked the scene to have seen the more, the more harsh and the more, the Zhao that we got towards the end, I would have liked to have seen him more. In throughout, the more throughout. Now. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Because yeah, we, and because remember, we didn't even get the Agni Kai between them, between Zuko and 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 and, and, and Zhao, which is big. Yeah, because you know, who we're not, 
Yo, sorry. I- I'll talk to. You. I- I'll mention it after this. But it's, it's. Go ahead, bro. I was gonna say that uh, because like that set a precedent of more hate of Zhao towards Zuko. Exactly. Right. We we didn't really get that in this. We got like when when he became admiral or what or com- yeah admiral, admiral commander. Then commander. then you saw like the little bit of like like hate not hate but like this disdain that he had for Zuko because yeah. he was under and him the whole cool time. About it, it, in the animation was in the animation, the first time you see Zhao, Zhao he's a captain. The next time you see him, he's a commander. The next time you see him, he's admiral. You know, like each time you see him, he's a higher rank. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah. kind of cool, but. They just jumped in. They, they they started him at commander, and they just jumped him up to admiral. But that's not that that's not big of a deal for me. That's not a deal breaker or anything like that. But it it it, it is kind of cool that every time Zuko saw him or ran into him, nigga, I'm a higher rank. I'm a yep. higher rank. I'm a he's higher he's rank. like I'm higher rank than you now. Yeah, yeah. So he's like he's he's he he's advancing progressively. Yeah. And yeah. another person that we really haven't touched base on, and I think he did it well. Iroh. I thought he was my favorite. He was my favorite. He was my favorite. He did it well because but, I like him. I like the actor as well. But have you ever watched uh, Kim's Convenience? Oh, of course I have. That's bro. why I like him so much. Appa, bro. Appa, but, yeah, hell yeah, fucking hilarious, bro. And I also, he's in Star Appa. Wars too. Huh? He's in Star Wars also. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and it wasn't a detail that really bothered me, but I would have loved to have seen him try to do a little bit more of the accent that Uncle has, but. It, again, not a deal breaker. He still, I loved it. I love this performance. Yeah, dude. The one thing I didn't like about him is that they strayed. Again, you know, I'm a big guy on details. I didn't like the fact that when they find when Zhao finally kills the Moon Spirit, that Iro runs because Iro is the one that gives that gives them the knowledge that gives Yue and Sokka the knowledge. Oh, you've been touched by the Moon Spirit. You can help her. You know uh-huh. what I mean? He's the yeah. one that tells her, and he's the one that put he's the one that puts the fish in the water so she can give the life back to it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 that's it's fair. a minuscule detail, but it's a minuscule detail, but that's something because Iroh's knowledge, Iroh, you you always see Iroh. Iroh is never, never, as far as I remember, he's never hostile. He's never but, the only time he ever has to fucking bust shit out is when he's like upset. And and I feel like but, in that situation. Uh, for we know of Iroh how he is because he 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 respects the, the spirit, spirit. Yeah, he the spirit the, and he respects the balance of all four nations and I actually really I actually like that he was like Zhao if you do this I'm going to unleash tenfold on your ass bro oh, well that's the line that I was hoping they would keep it and they did and it's like, whatever you do to that spirit, I will only show you tenfold. I was like, oh, who's Bro, I, that was sick. And he did too. Yo, he did too. Like, and I'm glad that I'm glad that he did that. I thought that was and a good change. I, I, was, I thought it was a good change. But I, I, I do see what you mean though about, about that mm-hmm. about that fight. I feel like I feel like it ended off very strong though. It was good. You know what I mean? I like it ended strong. Um it ended strong. Not strong enough that I liked it. Again, for what the story was, how they introduced it and stuff like that, for how it was given to the actors, it was well done. But again, since I'm more biased because I'm a, I, I prefer the anime and I think the anime was perfection. Of course, bro. I mean, bro, you, you yeah. can't, you can't, you can't. If that's what you want, then go to the anime. You can't yeah, expect yeah, it yeah. to be the same. I, I understand, but. I was expecting it to be closer to the anime and that they were going to fix up the mistakes of the movie. Which That's they did. Was, and, 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 they did. Go back and watch that movie, bro. Go I back and watch that movie. Why would you do that? No. Go back and watch the movie. If you're going to say such it's bold good. statements, actually no, go no, no, back no, no, and do no. it. Yo, hold on. Bro, I'm no, serious, no, bro. No, 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 no. All right. It, it's, it's a okay. fact. It's a fact. All right. <laughs> All right. That, that that movie, right. bro, that movie had no respect towards the bro. How is it taking six earthbenders to move a boulder, bro? Yeah, they fucked that shit up. All right, come on. They needed to carry. They needed to carry torches of fire is, to use fire yeah, bending. That shit, was, that shit was so fucking. Th- and yo, don't even get me started on the pronunciation of the names. All right, can uh, it, it can't get as bad as oh, that, bro? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Well, to be so, fair, bro. if if if. If the movie was a zero, you're giving it a four. The series of four, I'm giving it a seven point five. 
Okay, then that, that, that actually makes sense. You know what? I'll up it uh, out of out of the things that I like. I'll, I'll up it to a five. Uh, I take a five. I'll take a five. Okay, I'll up it to a five. Uh, that makes me happy. Or are, are you gonna watch a season two? For the sake of content, I will watch it. Okay. I hope it gets better. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. Listen, yeah, listen. I want to like it so bad because it's a it's a series that I like so uh, that I love so much. I want to like it really bad, and I. But I just it, it's the it's the little things that I told you about is what dropped my score down. That's what it was. Is but the execution to, the execution wasn't bad. It was just again the, the storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I can see I can see I can see why I can see that, and I can see why the OG creators left the left the, because they're like yeah, that's what, they don't want to cut all these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, and but, um, one little thing, one right. more little thing. Um, the kid who played Aang did it well. But I just didn't like the way. <laughs> Again, I'm detail is, is the details. It 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 showed me that certain ways that he was standing, like he stand he 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 stood hunched over and stuff like that, mm. you know. And like it, it it was certain things that could have been done better, but it wasn't. Things. He's a twelve year old actor, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. But he 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 did, he, he did it well for especially for being the, the lead. main yeah. the lead. The lead of a major, a major project, a major, a major story. Yeah. So he did it well, but it, 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 it again. I think the casting was done well, except for Sokka. He acted it well, but I didn't hate him. The, I yeah, I didn't hate him. Yeah, he, again, I didn't hate him. I just, yeah. I just wish the appearance would have looked more because yeah, uh, his appearance would throw me off. But he had the Sokka moments though. Oh yeah, no, the Sokka moments were fucking hilarious. Yeah, he he, he didn't perform. He, did, he he performed the Sokka moments very well. Yeah, he did. Katara, the, the I thought. Oh, that's another thing. Like I did a... not like. How, I did not like how they made Katara seem like she learned water bending on her own. She did though. Not really, because yes, remember she, she does. She she starts, she starts to learn and master it more when she starts taking lessons from Paku. After well, she has after, fight after she fights him though. Yeah, but they made. They, but they didn't. They didn't address the fact that Paku was going to teach her. Well, you get what I'm saying. They don't have to address that this uh, season. Because we don't, we, they're, we're, they're not. Did they leave off Because I don't remember. Because we, we, we know that they're leaving, but we're, we don't know if they're leaving yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, that, that could still, remember, that could still be I the case. They, I remember the first episode. I don't know if it's the first episode. I think it's a series of, like, three or four episodes when they're in the Northern Water Tribe before it's, they get attacked. I could be wrong. No, it's but nine yeah. and ten. It's two. It's two episodes. It's the last two, two. Right? Yeah. It's two, right? Yeah, okay. So, in the first episode, that's when you find out that Papu's a sexist and that women shouldn't be in battle and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's what she yeah. she has that big ass fight with him. And then that's that's another thing, the reveal of the grandma's necklace. They didn't do that. that. They like, didn't do that. They didn't, they didn't do that. Yeah. And the fact that another thing that they didn't do when uh I forget the the the, the Jane. Jane that has a sheer shoe. That Zuko uses her necklace to find them. Yeah. Yeah. You you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Even though yeah, it's in yeah. the at least time wise, they did that correctly because it's around the time that Sokka, Sokka, and uh, Sokka gets taken from Heibai and shit like that. That's around the time that they're looking for him because Aang is in the spirit world. He's there, but they can't find him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, I, see, I see that. Yeah, yeah, so it's certain little details. But... but but to be fair, like that, that like there was like no time. They said, they said, oh, Katara Paku fought. Literally, like. A few hours later, fucking Fire Nation's here already. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got to... They, they, and, and fucking, you're a master now. What? Well, hold on, bro. They, yeah, they just speed that up. I was not, not a huge fan of that. But the fight between them two was sick. Yeah. No, no. The, the, yo, the fights were very well choreographed and well done. Yeah. I like the fight. Okay. I can say I'm, the action was good. How much mm-hmm. I, I can say I like. Which of the bending... Okay, a few questions here. Which of the uh, bending would you choose, and which of the bending do you think was uh, well represented in okay. the live action? Um, I had a feeling you were going to ask me oh, that. Oh, and I'm last question: Which is the weakest bending? Which is the weakest bending? Yes, three questions. 
from the way from the way it looked, which is the, the weakest bending to me looked like air bending was the weakest. Um, oh, really? I thought it was fucking water, bro. Because I saw water, they get splashed, and they're like, oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> I find it funny, so I was like, I, I say the weakest bending, the way it looked, but again, it's air, so I get it. They can't really show that much. Yeah. But for me, the weakest bending that it looked like it was, it was, it wasn't as as impactful. And again, tied for it would be water bending. But I feel like the best representation of it was the fire. The fire was perfectly represented. Yeah, that in, in the, the beginning, way. in the beginning for earth bending. And I, yo, and I love the way that they showed how when Zuku Zuko fights, the way he uses the fire, I love the way it looked because he made it look so fucking cool and smooth. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. If I were to choose a bending that I would want to do though, and I've always said it, earth bending. Okay, you, you do earth earth bending. Earth, bending. Straight, earth, earth bending just looks straight powerful. Yeah, and I love the way it looked, bro. Especially in the live action, like that first scene when you see the the earth bender running away with the with the scroll. Yeah, yeah. That that beginning scene of the of the series was fantastic, bro. That was that, that was different, but I liked it. Yeah, that was a nice addition because that was in the yeah, past. I like, okay, I'll, that I even said I was like, okay, and they're like, that's cool. I like that they did that. And then you see Sozin fucking melt the dude. <laughs> that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. That shit was fucking crazy. Yeah, that shit was bro. Crazy. Like, yo, straight barbecue, motherfuckers. Barbecued. Like I was like, yo, this is for kids. You know. So that that yeah, was he just grabbed him by his wrist and said, "Yo, barbecue." It's our time and yeah, bar- like, bro, oh, that shit was good, bro. I that, think the actor who did Susan, uh, no matter how brief it was, he did well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I like to they picked. I like to they picked to Blue Roku as well. That shit was funny. That that scene, it was funny. It was so funny. I on one second, it was funny. I, 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 I actually, like, oh, I actually, I, like. I did like all the Avatar. I, I remember you. I remember when you first complained that on how he. Is only allowed to connect with the avatar by going to their shrine. Shrines, yeah, yeah. no, because he was able to he was able to connect with the whenever from wherever he was. Yeah, as long as he meditates or Logosea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I agree, but I also didn't mind this because it, it it makes them have a a point that you they like for the audience to know like oh for Ang to learn more he's got to get to this place you know what I mean like type yeah, of thing I get that. you know because otherwise mm-hmm. they'd be like why isn't Ang just cheating and like meditating yeah. right now and just asking for answers but let me ask you now same questions reciprocated to you what would you think you said okay. water obviously you said so, water was the one that you feel it was the worst represented oh uh, yeah probably in the show at first at first yeah uh because but at the by the end of it i feel like it was like when they start doing the ice stuff like she's yeah. doing the ice discs and shit like that i thought it was pretty cool but i will say at first mm-hmm. it looked weak but i think that mm-hmm. that's also a point because we the only water bend that we see the whole time is Katara, and yeah, you see her progression. Yeah, yeah, and but you see her progression. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, cause she didn't know how to do it at first. I, that, yeah, that 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 makes sense. I get that. So, that so I could I could see that being the case. Um, I thought air was pretty cool. I've always thought air was cool. Mm-hmm. Me in general, I think fire is actually one of the weakest. Like, really, it's. I don't know. I'm by. I, 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 I'm a, I, the thing is, I'm a. I would be normally be a firebender, but I would mm-hmm. want to be a waterbender. Okay. You know what I mean? But I, I yeah. know like my personality. I'm a fucking firebender. Like that's just, yeah. it's just what it is. But I feel like, out of all the bending, I think I think fire might be the weakest. Mm. But I mean, I could be wrong. Because, yeah, because wa- it, water, yeah. water got water got uh, blood bending. Fucking. Yeah. Uh, uh, air bending, you could literally suck out the oxygen from yeah, a person. If you think about it, if you think about it, from it, because fire, from it, fire is already devastating in and of its own right. Just have a burning flame right there could fuck shit up. That's true. That's true. But so it's devastating in and of its own right that you need any extra shit. But if you think about it, even though granted in this in the animated series it was very limited to who can do it, firebenders have been, were able to bend lightning. Some of them, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Some of them, yeah. which was uh, I think I think it was Ozai and Azula were the only ones, but the only and, ones that could Zuko. redirect it was yeah. was Zuko and Iroh, and Iroh was the only one that was able to redirect it until he taught Zuko how to do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what made it more awesome is the fact that remember Iroh learned learned 
the way his fighting is is from because he because he he has influences of all four styles of bending. Yes. So he's an avatar without being able to bend the other elements, which is sick. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And which is why he's a dragon. Nothing. Th- yeah, and another thing I really liked about the the live action was the fact that all bendings had different forms of martial arts, which is always always beautiful. I I, 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 th- I think that was cool. I think they kept that 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 was the source material it kept to it because. You, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with um, in the animation. They, they like they bend different elements, but they have different forms of martial arts. Like, yeah, they fight different. Yeah. That and also like uh, like like uh, uh, Omashu being like the Earthbenders being Indian, the Waterbenders are more yeah. like Native American. American. The the Firebenders are more like Chinese Asian, you know, and uh, yeah. the, the Airbenders. Most are like were, Buddhist, basically. Yeah, we're like Buddhist. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Cause I thought the five, the Airbenders were showing off pretty well in the in the okay. raid until yeah. until the fucking comic came and then just wrecked yeah, everyone up. Got, yeah, annihilated shit. You know, yeah. but uh, I so did, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. one difference that I did like as well. Granted, it was brief, but I did like the fact that they showed when they did the fight the, the 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 raid on the Southern Air Temple. I did like the fact that they show Giazzo defending himself and the other students. Yes. I did like that. Yeah, yeah, it hurt my soul the way he died, but it, yeah. it, 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 I like the way he. I like the way he was fighting by himself. Nah, it was cool. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, like no, I really, I really, I really did enjoy the show for what it is. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I, I don't, I don't. The boy, the point that you brought up, I don't disagree with you. Mm-hmm. And I could see why. Um, each time it, I hit you, each time I hit you up to tell you I'm done watching, it was because. Of an introduction of a character that didn't mean to be that 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 wasn't supposed to be introduced so soon. Which That's is the three that you brought up, so that actually made sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Which is uh, the I hit you up, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I I mean I, like I said, I don't disagree, but mm-hmm. you know, I, I could have easily done been the same way with One Piece. Mm-hmm. Like they did yeah, they did this this One Piece. Oh I I could have, bro, like easily. Yeah. Like like Garp never first of all, Garp isn't there. Right until later on. No, you don't see. You don't see. Gar- I didn't see Garp in the anime until what? Until Water um, Seven. Frankie at the end. Well, until, yeah, to Water Seven. That's it. That yeah. is, even though that interaction is still funny as hell. It is. It is. It's pretty much, it's pretty much the same interaction. It's fucking hilarious. It is. Uh, and then like, and we also didn't. Uh, so so Garp didn't call Mihawk. Mihawk was chasing Don Creek. Don Creek was the mm-hmm. was the bad guy of of uh Baratier. It wasn't the Arlong pirates. You know what I mean? Like. There's there's yeah. so, there's so many things like we didn't see um the two guys that were with that were with them Johnny and someone else like there's those two bounty hunters that were brothers with Zoro they weren't in the series fucking this dude um I don't think I got in there yet because I don't remember them no you you, you you did because they were in Baratie remember they were they were guarding Arlong Park from the villagers that's right okay yeah, that's right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right you just, they, um, they weren't in the show. I'm so far ahead. I'm so far ahead now that because I remember I'm at, I'm at Thriller Bark now. So yeah, yeah. So you know, like, so they weren't in the show. Same thing mm-hmm. with the uh, the guy that could fucking hypnotize people. He wasn't in the show either. That was part of the black the black cat pirates. Mm. Uh, I I, Django, I Django, Django. Yes, Django. Django. We didn't get him. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. I I could I could easily be on the same boat as you. With with mm-hmm. One Piece as you are with Last Airbender, mm-hmm. but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold it against them because the that's my here's the kicker, and it's it, I, sometimes I feel like it might be sometimes to the detriment to to the Netflix shows is the fact that Netflix is is notorious and well known for having their series be eight to ten episodes, so it kind of puts a damper on the series that are long. Yeah. yeah. Think about it like with again Yu Yu Hakusho, oh. One Piece, oh. and Avatar. So they're limited already with their episodes, so they have to constrain a lot, which they, kind of they, puts they like, that, that kind of hinders them. Of course, that's why. Yeah. That's why I don't hold it against them. That's why I, I try not to take off points when they when they when they try when they condense things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I try not. Look, look uh, again, I try not to put points against them. But again, there's things that I I didn't like, and no, that's fine. And you, and that's you, fine. That's you, fine. You understand? Yeah. Because yeah. like, it wasn't like I didn't like it because oh they did the story completely wrong. No, 
it, it you, was for to be fair, through our text, that's how you came off. And I, that's and, how I, came I off, and I was getting annoyed. I was like, bro, my guy, just fucking watch it, bro. It's not that it's not yeah. as bad as you, you as you get, as you make it seem. But I get what you get, get, get from. Yeah. But not once I put it into context what it was and I'll explain myself, you get understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, no, I but, do. You can't, you can't convey tone really off a of text. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't. <laughs> because, yo, let me tell you, chat, uh, and, and stream and everyone else, yo, Roy, bro, Roy was coming off hot, bro. He was like, nah, I can't watch. I was like, bro, no, you said you're gonna, we're going to watch this for Tuesday. You better watch it, bro. Don't, don't get me upset now. Yo, literally, I did the, the episode with Boomy that I can't, I can't, yo, I can't get out of my head. The episode with Boomy. As soon as he said, Boomy, I said, nope, click, I turned it off. And my wife was looking at me like, you're not going to watch anymore? I can't do it. I fucking can't do it. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I, I will say, though, the guy that played Boomy was, was pretty good, too, though. Like He was like, he he, he seemed like Boomy he, when he, he finally got he was, to the he, end of it. He was all right. I, I, it, it wasn't bad, but it, I, 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 it wasn't, I didn't like it that much. You know what I mean? It wasn't bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't. What you wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't for me. But it, was, it wasn't bad for 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 the character uh, again for what the written, for what was written for the character. He performed it well. Did I like it? Not really, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. But you know, it, it is what it is. I hope I hope we get a season two. I mm-hmm. I want them to finish. The, I want them to get the story out. That's mm-hmm. that's all I want because I want people to be like, man, that story was pretty good. I want to see the actual story and then go and watch the animated series. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah. that's all. That's 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 all it is. Same thing. Same thing with uh, mm-hmm. One Piece. Yu Yu Hakusho, they just butchered that, bro. They just skipped the whole first season and went first arc and went straight to the... Went to the Tournament of Death. Yeah, so uh, not a big fan of that one. That was yeah. that was a butchering. For what, for what Again, for that one, for what it was, I like the action in it. But again, I agree with you. They, they, they rushed it. But even that then, the action in, in this one, to me, was better. And the special oh, effects. Actually, yeah. The action and the special effects for what it is, it's good. It's really, really good. I liked it. I liked I, it. I do think both One Piece and and uh, Avatar should have been ten episodes instead yeah. of eight. Two extra, two extra episodes would have would have helped a lot. Uh, probably would have helped a lot more. Yeah, yeah. yeah for yeah. my grading of it. Yeah. But again, if they would give it two more episodes and to keep introducing the characters the way they did, I I, I probably would have gave it the same story. That's fair. But you know. It is what it is. Uh, I think that's about it today. What do you think? We've been we've been going at it. We've been going yeah, at we, it. We've been off, I think we've been on for an hour and a half. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, stream guys, thank you all for being guys and ladies. You know, yes, uh, for all those watching. Uh, thank you all for being yeah, here. Uh, uh, final. Pets, animals. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Cats, dogs, fishes, bunnies, mm-hmm. all of them. <laughs> uh, thank you all for being here. We appreciate you guys. Always uh, joining us and you know listening to us ramble about things that we love or mm-hmm. didn't like as much in some yeah. cases. <laughs> but I do appreciate. I mean, like I said, you you brought up your points, um, and they to me they all make sense. Like you know, so I don't. The four yeah. was a little low, but you changed it to a five. Five is okay. It's right in between. I'll take it. Because remember, you Haka show we went low. <laughs> we, yeah, you Haka show we take on low. So you know, like. And I do feel like this was a step above that. I think yeah. like, you Yu should give it a three and I give it a two. Yeah, it was, I was being nice. I'd give it a one now. Oh, yeah. Looking back on it, yeah. I think I still keep it at two. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I'll keep it at two because there were some things I did like. But <laughs> mm. So I hope you get a season two. Um, if we do, you know we're going to be back at it. We're going to talk about it. And now I'm definitely going to go back and rewatch the original to you know mm-hmm. to be to compare it even better even better and uh, if i don't know we might even do a review on that if you guys want i know i would i would like to, i would like definitely like to talk about it no absolutely but um yeah uh that's it for me i have to i'm going to play some final fantasy crisis core to get ready for rebirth coming out this week nice enjoy it. um and i'll i can't wait to play that game so I don't know. I don't know what we'll do for the next episode. We'll, Roy and I will talk about it. We'll figure it out. But until then, you guys, we might, we, we, might able, we might be able to do Star Wars. Okay. We, yeah. The Ahsoka, right? Yeah. That's a subject. That's a, yeah. That's a sub, that's a subject. Not just Ahsoka, but just Star but in Wars general. Day. That's an episode yeah. we always talk about. Star Wars Day. Yeah. And we haven't done it yet. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, we could we could do it next, or we could save it for actual Star oh, Wars May Day. 4th? Yes, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. I don't mind that. So. Yeah, that's actually yep. a good idea. We should do that. We should do it for that. But we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll uh, figure it out. We always, ooh, we always do. Two shows you gotta watch. Huh? One's on Netflix. The brother sons. I have it on my list. Bro, so it's uh, it's not, it looks nah. interesting. I wanna watch it. Put that on top, bro. Watch that shit. Yeah. That shit is funny. Good action, bro. It's so funny, dude. Like, I like. Uh, I'm telling you, we could definitely once you watch that because me and my wife, uh, me and Clutch are gonna finish it. I'm definitely down to talk about that shit, bro. Because that shit, okay. that shit, that shit, O D. Eight episodes also, I mean. So, All right, I'm gonna watch it. And then uh, on Amazon Prime, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I have that on my list as well to watch it. Pretty good. Because I, I wanted to watch it. I wanted to watch it to compare it to the movie. Not you know? the movie. It's not the movie. Uh, no, 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 it's not the movie. But I, I said I wanted to watch it to compare it to the movie. Yeah, it, it it's a different actually, it, it's a different it's a different premise like completely. But it, yeah. it, it it's good. It's good. I've watched okay. the first two episodes. I really enjoy it. Uh, oh. I think I think you and your wife would enjoy it also. And did you did have you, you watch Have you watched Have you watched Reacher yet? Of course. I'm, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh, we gotta talk about we gotta talk about Reacher. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. I love right. Reacher. Next, no, 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 like, we're, we're caught up. Next we're episode, good. we're doing Reacher until and then the one after okay. until you watch Brother Son or whatever. So next episode, Reacher. Y'all be y'all heard it here. Y'all be ready. Mm -hmm. All right. Also, quick shout out to my boy Nico for making giving me the Nami tattoo. If you guys can nice. see on my screen, I'll send you a picture, Roy, okay, so I, you can I, see it closer. Well, I'll send I can you. see it on the Twitch stream. Okay, because you're because you're not coming up on my computer, but you're too, on the Twitch stream. You're you're there. I don't know. That's what's weird. Right, it's because I keep fucking reloading it, and like it's <laughs> it's been very annoying today. I don't know why. So I got to. I got literally, literally as you mentioned it right now, it popped up. I, I, yo, it looks dope. Yeah, I'm gonna send you a picture regardless though. I got you. So you can see it. Oh, but I got I got Nezuko here. She she's huddling up with me, so I'm petting her. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, you know what that means. It's time to go. So yeah. again, thank y'all. Be happy, be healthy. Be merry. Be merry. Show love. Spread love. I mean, that's all we got in this world, all right? Y'all yep. be easy. Thank you for everything. Peace. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Ooh, chicken grease. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Later, y'all. <laughs> <Later. laughs>